Thank you very much for joining us tonight. What has the Republican legislature there done to help the fight against COVID-19? Well, not a lot to help the fight against COVID-19, um, but as you noted in your intro, we are at the worst point of crisis we've been at since COVID hit America. We have the highest hospitalization, highest ICU occupancy rate. Um, there are basically no beds left, um, and we're on the brink of implementing crisis standards of care, um, full-on rationing of health care, kind of the, the death panels that Sarah Palin threatened were coming one day. They, they're here in Idaho now. Um, but what we're seeing our legislature do, our um, GOP-dominated legislature wants us to come in for an emergency session, not to figure out how we can get more resources to address the pandemic, but to pass a law banning our health care providers from requiring vaccines for their personnel. Uh, right now, we have various private employers across the state who are requiring their employees, doctors and nurses and others, to be vaccinated. The legislature is talking about coming back in to ban those vaccine requirements. Um, so to me, it's a little stunning that we're looking at these numbers and there are folks concluding from this that the, our top priority should be to remove vaccine incentives. <laughs> uh, what should Idaho be doing now? Uh, well, certainly, uh, you know, I'm, I'm grateful that our healthcare providers are taking the health of their patients seriously. And ultimately, I think it's their prerogative to make decisions. You know, they make all kinds of decisions about they might require people to wear masks and gloves. And, you know, it's been longstanding practice for them to require personnel to take other to, to have other vaccines. Um, so at the very least, I think we need to let healthcare experts do their business um, and we need to let communities do their business. There was also really a push during session. And I think we're going to again, to ban school boards, to ban local governments from taking precautions. Um, and, you know, our, our governor elected never to do a statewide mask mandate. Um, but I would at least like to see local governments have the freedom to do what they think is necessary for their communities. Uh, and there's really an appetite on the part of the legislature to crack down on anybody at any level of government that wants to take precautions. What happens uh, if and possibly when all those ICU beds are full? It's a terrifying prospect. I mean, we've, we're already seeing, um, you know, right now they've put a freeze on all what they quote elective uh, procedures, uh, but those aren't necessarily very elective. I mean, if you have cancer and you need a tumor removed, you can't have that procedure right now because those have all been put on freeze to make room for all the COVID patients. Um, if it gets... I think it is very likely we're going to hit this. As I said, we're going to hit crisis standards of care. We're going to put in standards where they're going to look at how old you are and how many years of life they think you have left, and they're going to decide whether you get care based on whether you meet those criteria to you know and the triage criteria they have as to whether they let you in for any care at all. Um, so it's not just hitting the unvaccinated. This is going to hit people who are in car crashes and have strokes and heart attacks and other health problems.